Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing part two of the how to bead crochet. So what I did here is I took a worsted weight yarn and an, I think it was an eye size hook and I chained 11 and then I just did one single crochet in each chain all the way across. So that makes 10 single crochets. And I added the beads here. So adding the beads and um, I'm gonna show you now how I did that. So I did not pre-string the beads. I will show you that technique next. But one other technique is to go like this. I'm gonna just single crochet in the first stitch, but you can really single crochet anytime you want. Um, and you can add beads in every stitch if you want or every other stitch or just, you know, just wherever you want. But another way to um, add beads without stringing them is to do half of a stitch, half of a single crochet. So if you saw that, I inserted my hook, I yarned over, pulled a loop through the fabric, and now I'm going to abandon that first loop. I'm going to grab my... Um, bead with a size D or a small hook. So I need a hook that is small enough to get through the eye of that bead. And the eye of the bead needs to be big enough to thread it on to two um, thicknesses or a loop of that yarn. So that eye needs to be pretty big. Now, if you have a smaller bead, you can use smaller yard yarn, you can use a smaller hook. Then I'll just insert my hook back in that loop and yarn over and pull through. So let me show you again, but first I'm going to just single crochet in that stitch. In the next stitch, single crochet, and what I did was single crochet, beads, single crochet, and now I'm doing beads again. So the beads are sitting on the right side of the fabric. They really don't show up on the back side in this case. So again, to show you how to add the bead, and then I'll show you how to pre-string the beads. I am pulling up a loop, and then I'm pulling that loop off of the hook. I'm going to get a um, bead on a smaller hook, a hook that fits through the eye of that bead. I'm going to thread it on by placing that smaller hook and just dropping that bead onto that loop. I'll drop the loop, insert my working hook on the loop, yarn over and pull through. Okay, so it's pretty easy, but you have, but when it's time to add the bead, you can, um, it takes a moment to do. The good news is that you don't have to worry about pre-stringing the beads. You can choose what other, whatever color you want of bead if you're not doing all the same color. So you can make the decision right then and there which color of bead you want without like pre-stringing and really strategizing. So the smaller, it, it gets kind of tricky when your yarn gets smaller, your beads get smaller, your hooks get a lot smaller. And then you do have to have, no matter what size hook or what size um, yarn you're using, when you're doing this method, the eye of the bead has to accommodate like two strands, two thicknesses of the loop to fit it on there. So if that hole is not big enough for two thicknesses of the yarn, then it's not going to work. Okay, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so now the other method of doing um, single crochet with beads is by pre-stringing them. So here's what I did. I did a um, single crochet, the same thing, and I'm finishing up this row of single of just plain old single crochet. And now I'm going to chain one and turn. What I did was I pre-strung onto my yarn. So I used a yarn needle and I put it on the end of my yarn and I picked beads and put them onto my yarn needle and slid it on. So this method, the hook, the eye of the need, the eye of the bead needs to be able to go over the eye of the needle like this. And um, if it does not, then you need to use a smaller needle to get through the eye of the bead. And then if you're using 
Um, if it's too small, you can either just keep getting this, this needle smaller, smaller, smaller. Your yarn might get have to get smaller, smaller, smaller to be able to get thread those beads on, okay? Also, when you thread the beads on, I threaded them on in this order. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, <laughs> then the red and green that I just did. And I did it in rainbow order on purpose so that you could see that the first, the first bead on is the first bead to be used. So if you are trying to decide um, the order of the colors, that matters. <laughs> if you wanted a, a, a green one first, then that's not going to work. However, there is a way to fix every mistake and well, not every mistake. <laughs> Some most mistakes in life can be fixed. This is one of them. So if you find that you pre-strung them in the wrong order, if it would be fixed by just taking some out, so let's say I did this and I wanted to stop at green and then I wanted red, then I could theoretically lay a piece of fabric down on these, if I wanna get rid of these, put a piece of fabric down, get a hammer, pound it, break those off, pull up the fabric so it doesn't splatter you in the face with shards of glass or plastic and break those off and then they would be gone and then the next bead would be this one. So if you make a mistake in stringing, but then your bead is destroyed. So you gotta decide <laughs> how important it is to you. <clears throat> okay, so in my Annie's class, um, I don't know if it's a term that everybody uses, but I use the term bring up bead or, or bring up bead, B-U-B. -B. So bring up bead. So what I would do is I'm gonna just single crochet in the first stitch and then the next stitch, I'm going to bring up bead. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, bring up the bead, B-U-B, grab the yarn on the far side of the bead and finish the stitch. So single crochet. So th these beads are showing up on the wrong side. Okay, so I am crocheting on the right side. And if I make half the stitch, bring up the bead that I pre-strung, hold it in place or let it fall into place, grab the yarn on the far side of the bead and yarn over and pull through. These beads are showing up on the wrong side. They're not showing up on the right side. Right now I'm doing every other stitch. Bring up bead. Okay, and you're just continuing on. Okay, and that is two methods for adding beads to your single crochet. I will see you in the next video. Please like or subscribe. Thanks, bye. So if you liked this video, here's another one that's similar that you might also enjoy. And here is the video, the last video that was up uploaded in case you missed it. Everyone, please like and subscribe. <laughs>